Well, hello, everybody. I'm Steve Mathis. I'm going to make a reasonably short video today, but I had a lot of questions that people left in the comments on my last video, which was, what gear am I bringing to Africa? And a big question everybody had was how I deal with file management and workflow while I'm here in Africa. So I wanted to just give you a quick one. Uh, I'm at the hotel in Tanzania. We just finished the first trip with one group of people and uh, tomorrow we start with the second group. So I just have a little time here uh, with the computer and everything and wanted to just run through a quick version of my workflow and file management while I'm here uh, as well. So the equipment, I bring a MacBook Pro. This is the new one, the M3 Max, I think. Anyway, it's awesome. It's wicked fast. Big upgrade from what I had been using, and it's wonderful. It makes all this stuff happen a lot faster, which is great. Uh, I bring four hard drives with me, and they're SSD drives, um, and each of them is four terabytes. And so I have my, my main working drives that I use are these Crucial X8 four terabyte drives. Uh, this one is for videos, and then I have one, same exact drive, but that is for the photos, because I'm shooting video and photos out here, and I like to keep them separate. The photos obviously go into Lightroom, and the videos will go into Final Cut Pro, which is what I use to edit video. So these are my two working drives, and these are the ones I use day to day. Uh, they're fast and they're robust. I used to use SanDisk but I had a couple, two fail last year, so I've abandoned SanDisk and I'm now using these Crucials uh, for the last year and so far they're working great. Um, so I also have the backup drives that I mirror. Uh, these are also made by Crucial. These are the X6 and they're also four terabytes, but they're quite a bit smaller and quite a bit lighter um, than the X8s and they're slower, but they're still, you know, plenty fast for my needs, which uh, is to back up. The backups happen really fast. Don't quote me on the number, but I think they're like 800 megabytes a second or something. But so they're still plenty fast, but they're considerably less expensive, smaller and lighter. So they're like perfect for traveling with. So my general strategy out here is when I get home for the day from the shoot, uh, I plug in the card reader. This is a Lexar that does CF Express and SD. So in the Nikon Z9, I have CF Express. So this plugs in, card goes in. Uh, I have both of these um, plugged in. So I have two cables here. So this would kind of be my setup when I get back. So I've got my two working drives set up over here and then the card reader here. Uh, and then I will transfer these onto um, the two different hard drives. So the videos will go on there and the photos on there. Obviously, I just use Lightroom to import them all onto that. And then I use Final Cut Pro to import them onto that. Uh, once they're down done downloading, oh, hi. Once they're done downloading, off of this, I will unplug this. And then because I've only got one USB-C port over here, I have this uh, little, sorry, this little Belkin USB-C hub with four ports. And then I'll plug these two into that with these little cables. So these are plugged in and then I run, I use uh, program called Chronosync and uh, it mirrors the drives automatically and it goes pretty fast because it's only going to change the files that actually changed onto the backup so it's not you know dumping the whole drive over all the time so once I am I've got everything through Lightroom and Final Cut Pro onto the working drives then I back them up using Chronosync uh, and then I'm done I eject and unplug everything and and then these the backup drives then go with me everywhere I go so they'll ride with me in the safari vehicle 
uh, they'll ride in my carry-on on the plane. Actually, both sets would on the plane. But these are on my person at all times, which is another reason why I like these smaller, lighter ones. Uh, that way, if you know a break-in happens or a fire happens or something, uh, I've got my backups with me at all time, and these, uh, you know, if something happened to the working drives. So that's basically it. That's that's the gear that I use for this. Uh, these crucial four terabyte hard drives, four of them, the card reader, and the MacBook Pro. And uh, oh yeah, and the USB-C hub. So that's the deal. It all goes in this little pouch. It's uh, just off Amazon in a tech. It was an inexpensive pouch. Uh, I probably should have got the Peak Design ones or something because they're really fancy and beautiful, but this one suits my needs. And that's where all this stuff gets carried. And then the MacBook charger lives in here as well and its charge cord. So that's the deal. Um, anyway, I hope that answers your questions for the bunch of you who asked what my file management looks like while I'm in Africa. That's what I do. It has worked great for like the five years that I'm doing this. I'm sure it's not the greatest way in the history of the world to do it, but this works for me and uh, I'm not telling you to do it this way. We all kind of have our own program on how we like to do things, but this is how I do it and I hope that helps and uh, I'll see you in the next video and I hope you have a great day. See you later.